Hey, big shout out to everybody in Riverside. And um, as a kid, I always wanted to meet Don King. But now I think Don King's a fucking asshole and he's a hey, racist. No, 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 no. We're not going down that way. He's racist. All right, Barry. It was all going well until then. Let's apologize to the audience. We can't control these guys. That's totally uncalled for. Thank you very much. You Andre, you Andre, you won the you fight. You took his hand. He's a little confused as to what has happened here. Hold on a second. We're just trying to get him the information. He's not certain as to what has gone on. Andre, Andre, are you allowed? Can you talk? Please stop talking to me, man. Okay. I got, I got, man. Okay, man. You know what happened? I got dropped, man. No, you no, 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 you won, you won the fight. We'll come back and talk to you in just a moment when you, all right. I was down, man. You hit me when I was down. That is correct. You won by disqualification, Andre. Is this, is this speaker, man? Please tell me the speaker, man. Okay. We'll come back to you in just a few moments when you have a little bit of time to recover. You know, Jim, I don't know why you come up here. Don't come up here and try to give me no badass questions, try to degrade me. I will thank the God, thank the man upstairs. Question's legitimate. Were you, were you too quick? Evander Holyfield was a great fighter. Don't diminish that at any time. Holyfield's a great warrior. He came to fight. Bottom line. Did he ever Who's hurt Who's next? You? I got milk, baby. Who's next? Do you, do you fear Zab Judah's speed? having seen what he can do and, and having seen what happened here this evening? I mean, if you ask Zeb, does he go to fear? He'll say no. Do you, I'm not uh, asking Zeb, I'm you, asking you. Don't be rude to me, please. I'm not, I'm not but I mean... Um, any regrets about anything that went on in the pre-fights and all the news conferences? Negative. I'm good. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Adrian, congratulations on winning the title. Polly, come on in. Hey, I'm just saying, you lost. I know, I know, I lost. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 don't brag about taking my side piece. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. You don't get laid. All right, all right. Hopefully, we'll have a chance here in a moment to talk to Polly. Well, first thing, first thing, I think that it's a shame that fighters go in the ring that don't even have life insurance, and they go in the ring like me and Mr. Allen and risk our lives for something we love. The promoters risk in business. There's so many people that started a business and went bankrupt and started another business. You don't have to but, fight. But, you but, don't have to accept but, the but conditions. But listen, but listen. Sean, did you believe that you won this fight? Of course, I do believe that I won the fight. Based on what? Based on what? Base, base, you know, top of performance. That, that wasn't my best fight, but you know, Bernard liked to fight ugly, dirty. Where do you think you won this fight? Because in punches connected, punches thrown, power punches, punches landed, you're significantly behind in all of those statistics. I don't know about that, but one thing is that I know it's, I was there, I stood there, and uh, I dropped him twice, I dropped him, him twice. You think the first round was, was a legitimate knockdown? Of course, of course. Both of them, both, both of them. If you weren't here in Canada, how do you feel that this would have been judged differently? No, because we are, see, we got fair judges in Canada. And uh, of course, I'm not really happy because I'm a champion. I like to win a draw, that's not enough for me. But uh, I'm still the world champion and I didn't have to win that fight. Will you give him a rematch? If you want a rematch, anytime. Anytime. So you would take your next fight a rematch with Bernard Hopkins? We'll see it. I'm going to talk say, with my promoter. Well, wait a minute. Well, Anytime. How about the next well, one? Like I said, I'm a soldier. I'm a fearless. If you want to fight, I have no, I have no problem to fight him again. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you very it. Much. All right, Steve, back to you. Let me, let me ask you. We don't know what Mills did. Okay. Don't, don't put nothing okay. on Mills. Okay. Okay. Well, Mills said he stopped the fight. You bit him. Was that a retaliation? for the eye when you bit him in his ear. Regardless of what I did, he bit, bit me for two fights. But you got to address it, Mike. Why I did, did you address, no, I did address it. I addressed it in the ring. Why, why did you do that, though, Mike? I mean, was Look that the proper me. response? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I got to go home. My kids are going to be scared of me. Look at me, man. What are you going to do now in terms of your career, Mike? Well, you to fight. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought I worked him a lot. I thought I threw a lot more punches. I thought I carried the pace. I thought I threw a lot more body shots. Tom Shrek is a New York judge that was in Al Heyman's pocket. It's very simple. I mean, 117, 111 was a joke, man. That was a joke. This was a close fight. I ain't got to answer nobody else's question. I'm going home. We're going to have a party. Oh, we're going to have a party. Everybody dollar me. If they don't want to respect me, fuck them. You got your respect.
Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? I bear witness there's only one God, and Muhammad, blessings and peace be upon him, is his prophet. I dedicate this fight to my brother, Darrell Baum, who died. I'll be there to see you. I love you with all my heart. All praise be to my children. I love you. Oh, oh God, oh, man, what? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, amateur, professional ever? Assalamu alaikum, Maida. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox, I'm coming for you. Steve, Johnny Tapia, congratulations to you. Johnny, after your loss, did you question that you might not have the fire? You were scared in the locker room before, and you had told us that a lot of great fighters can't come back after a loss. How concerned were you? Well, first of all, I'd like to give a lot of thanks and praise. Would you do me one big favor while we're in there? Please? Would you say sorry to Pete Rose? Please? It's got nothing to do with this, Johnny Tapia. <laughs> you want to address the fight? Boxing's always full of shit, man. It's it's always politics in this thing, man. You just the fans can never go home happy. You know what I mean? It, you get a great show and then always get spoiled with some BS like this. Well, aren't you at this point right now biting the hand that feeds you? Isn't this part of the game? It's part of the game, but is it right, Jim? Why would I want? If I don't ask you this question, people are going to be upset. Are you saying this fight was fixed? Is I'm this not, a path you really want to go down? I'm not saying it was fixed. Can we much. talk about the it fight first, Bernard? It took nine months. The fight is not really important. Well, I knew it, I it, it is to our guy. audience. It Listen, is to our audience. I knew but I could beat this guy. After the first fight, when the just talk when, about Robert when, Allen when, and when, when the went politics, on in the second when, round. When the politics put me on the shelf for nine months waiting for a mandatory that's supposed to took place in 90 days after January 31st of 1998, and it didn't take place until August, you tell me is it corruption in the sport? And then you tell me let's talk about Robert Allen? That fight is over with. It's done. That's tomorrow. I don't worry about Robert Allen. I have no doubt in my mind that I can beat him. Let's get it up to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Steve. Mike Tyson being surrounded right now by his manager and Shelly Finkel. Mike, is it possible to have a word with you, Mike? No. Seems to be okay with Mike. Okay. No. Mike Tyson not wanting to speak to us right now. A difficult moment for him, Steve. We'll get Danny Williams and try Mike in a moment. Wow, I mean, I don't even really know where to start. How would you assess this fight up until the last 30 seconds? I was motivated, man, because um, the last time I fought on Showtime, you ragged me against both of us. So when you came in the dressing room, I was ready to knock you out. But I said, no, it's all about me. Let's talk about the fight. Right. <laughs> Detroit in the house. You, 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 used to it. James. I got your message, baby. Let's try and have, you a, know it. Let's try and have a decent interview no, and a conversation have, here. Hold on a second here. Mike, were you really sick this week? What was the problem? I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Bernard talking to Richard Safer. Bernard, your reaction to the decision? No, but still, Canadian judge gave it to the guy. Bernard, your reaction to this majority draw, winning on one yo, card take draw? This, yo, Nazim, take this off, man. Bernard, we're on the air. Can we get your reaction? I'm you on the air. Turn? Hey, man, I ain't got no reaction. The world seen it. Let me ask you yeah, your assessment and if you feel as though you won the fight tonight, Lati. I don't need to say nothing. You, Lati, will ask me, you know. Everybody, you know. All about the world, you know. He, too, you know. I'm fucking up. Look at me. Lati, How many you're looking good, baby. How many shots you do? Look at me, look at him. Everybody know this is about short time because you work on short time. Let's go to HB, HBO. Let's go to Motherland, where I come from. Hey, I'm hold on, Latif. I'm hold on. I'm you. Latif. Thing, I'll come you feel as though you won the fight. If you come again, However, do you, want, do you want a rematch? Do you feel as though you should have a rematch? We go to Motherland, where I'm from, and we come for HBO. That's all. I'm already showing you. That isn't going to happen. You're talking to us. You, you know want to have a rematch? Maybe it will be a, someplace else, but. Well, Do you want to fight him? Forget about the network. He will rematch for what? They could help me again for a public clean fight I'm beating. Russell Mora, you just raised the arm of Abner Mares. The question is, would he have won without your help this evening? This quite possibly, he said, has been one of the worst officiated fights he's seen in years. How would you rate your performance? I think it's a shame for uh, anybody to say that. But isn't it also a shame for the fans to see 9, 10, 12, 15 low blows and the guy's getting a warning and you're warning Agbeko throughout the night and you barely said anything to Mari. If it was a low blow, you would be 100% correct, but those are not low blows. They're on the belt line. Well, you're way off. You're way off, Russell. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Let's now... Mike, 
Shelly, can we get a word with Mike before he goes? Let Mike, let Mike, go. Mike, oh, go Mike, we'd appreciate hey, your time. I said no nicely, please. Shelly Finkel escorting Mike away. Okay. We'll try and get back. Felix, what did he say? What did he say to you right there, Juan? Man? Yeah, that he was very strong in this fight, that it was a very tough fight. How would you describe this fight, Juanma? I was dominating the fight. It was a tough fight, but um, he felt he was dominating the fight. He said that the referee uh, stopped the fight, that in the other fight, his son uh, stopped it, and now he stops it. Now, now, now he's basically saying that the referee stopped the fight because, they, you know, they have gambling problems. That, and he told the commission that uh, the referee was a gambler. That he did it wrong in putting him out as a, as a referee. It's very responsible for the commission to put him as a referee, knowing that he has a gambling problem per Obama. Wait a minute. You feel as though a gambling problem was the difference in this fight? I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike, that Mike? Mike? Wait a minute, Mike, who, who, who are you pointing all this anger at? Tell us I'm exactly not, it's, who it's you're no pointing anger. It's the no anger. anger. It's I'm a guy that stand up for what's right. And there's a lot of people that's in their graves and got assassinated for standing up for what they believe is right. You might have thought they were silly for doing it. I don't know your opinion on that. So when you tell me that I should quit boxing, not quit, but I shouldn't no, be I'm in this sport. Questions. Hold up, I'm not I giving you an opinion. You're telling me I shouldn't be in this sport if I don't agree with the laws and the politics that goes in this sport, and I say you're wrong. I say that's well, the problem. What are you going to do to change it? I can't do nothing in one day, but what I can do by being a, hold up, this is very important about my power, by being a middleweight champion of the world, one of the best in the world. If you don't want to listen, you would give me that time. That's the reason you're doing this interview now. Thank you.